my research focuses on Ebola virus and how Ebola virus actually uh, hurts your body and causes symptoms. Our lab studies the mechanism of Ebola virus infection. So if we understand more about how the virus works and how it harms your body, then maybe we can develop some better therapies against the virus and related viruses for the future. The surface of Ebola virus is covered in just one type of protein. It's called the viral glycoprotein. And it turns out that this glycoprotein is actually what causes a lot of the harm in your body. In Ebola virus infection, up to 90% of people who become infected will actually die from infection. The surface of the glycoprotein actually is covered in a post-translational modification called glycosylation. It turns out that this glycosylation is actually required for most of the harmful effects of the virus. So one of our research questions is understanding how this modification actually gets added. Our lab has a background in cell biology, which means that we're working at the intersection between molecular events, such as the addition of this glycosylation, and how this manifests throughout the entire organism, causing an entire person, for example, to become very ill. There are 20 possible enzymes that can actually add this glycosylation to the glycoprotein. We want to understand which, if any, are actually more utilized by the virus to add this glycosylation. I actually identified that one happens to be number one, is actually the most important for the virus to use. The reason this is important is that another branch of our lab's research focuses on developing small molecule inhibitors for individual enzymes. If we were to inhibit all potential enzymes that the virus could be using to add this glycosylation, you would actually become really sick and have really severe side effects because your body uses these enzymes normally to function. But if we can inhibit just one, then this could provide a really strong potential therapeutic against viral infection to try to mitigate some of the effects and reduce the mortality of the virus. We're interested in identifying which if any of the enzymes are particularly utilized by the virus because another branch of our lab's research focuses on developing small molecule inhibitors of individual enzymes. If we were to inhibit all potential enzymes that the virus could be using to add this glycosylation, you would actually become really sick and have really severe side effects because your body uses these enzymes normally to function. Um, but if we can inhibit just one, then this could provide a really strong potential therapeutic against viral infection.